Dice Age is made possible thanks to the support of our patrons. Thank you very much, and enjoy the show. The Empire of Maka has existed for nearly 1,000 years. Founded and ruled by Ava the Main, the immortal empress, it quickly expanded its borders thanks to the overwhelming power of its mages and the shrewd politics of its nobles. Now it has fully conquered the center of the continent of Almera, and although war has ended, peace still eludes its populace. As the empire nears its first millennia, the scenes of turmoil have become more frequent and apparent. Monsters are becoming more bold. Nobles plot schemes of usurpation, and whispers of rebellion hang heavy in the slums. This gave rise to the adventurer. These strong individuals of all races and classes lend their might to the citizens of Maka to drive back monstrous incursions. There are even adventurers who perform deeds so noble that the people can see beyond their race to the hero that lies within. There are those who criticize these adventurers and claim they're nothing more than pawns used to advance the political machinations of nobles. Despite the immortal empress herself making fewer and fewer appearances, there are those whose faith in the empire remains unshaken. But the wise know but it only takes a few sparks to ignite the flames of change. Allow me to introduce you to these sparks. Welcome to Elmera. Hello and welcome to Dice Age, a real play D&D show. My name is Jack and I am the Dungeon Master. Along with me as always are our wonderful heroes. Would you all go around and introduce yourselves please? Hello, it's AJ and I'm playing Edgar Wood, the Half-Elf Bloodhunter. I'm Alice Rose, and I play T, the Elven Sorceress. Hey, I'm Mitchell, and I play Essa Reyes, the Human Rogue. Hi, I'm Zach, and we're playing Tauros, your Tiefling Paladin. Hello, this is Trey, and I will be playing Oberon, Perseus, Maximus, Germanius, Cornelius, Alexander, Claudius II, your Drow Fighter. Wonderful. Uh, so, uh, things we left off uh, were, were pretty tense, pretty interesting, uh, and I think... Uh, We've got a, uh, yeah. sorry, AJ? Yeah, I, so I did something really cool for this recap, guys. Um, I think you're familiar with some of the spells out there in the world of Almera, and Speak With Dead is a pretty popular one if you want to get some info. So I went to our trusty black market where they never fail us, and I was able to pull a, a little dainty scroll a little bit worn. I didn't read all of what it had to say, but I do have a scroll of Speak With Dead, and I just so happen to have the skull of a creature that currently was residing in the caves that the party's in right now. So I thought it'd be cool if we get an eyewitness review of what's been going on. Yeah, sure. Nice. Sounds good to me. Uh, let's yeah. let's cast Speak. Really got to close that market. All right. Look to the person to your left, now to your right. In Almera, there is a 60% chance one of those two people has died. Tragic, isn't it? Philosopher, noble, and scheming bitch, Chloe Ward, once said, Life is what you make of it, and death is what the necromancer makes of you. My name is Sir Cad Avers. Thank you for coming to my dead talk. Today, I would like to share what death and these amateur necromancers made of me. I was a noble knight who ventured forth into the caverns beneath Avon, seeking glory and the company of my dear god, Medir. I met one angel of Medir, Tuama, who turned out to be a divine pain in the ass. I guess that's how my cookie crumbled. Canned laughter. So I died like many before me, only to be picked up as a skull by Kilzaren Talekaroth, 
the celestial who follows the dead goddess Femora. He thought I looked cool. It really took dying for someone to think that. More canned laughter. We ventured together as they met a band of weird adventurers. The ragtag group traveled murdering Tuama and a few really creepy red guys called Vollers. It was not your average Silvus. Laughter. But before that encounter, they saw the crux of my talk. Fear itself. A creature called the Itteaga, made entirely of shadows, attacked the party and made Edgar and Essa come face to face with their worst fears. For Essa, an elderly woman who blamed him for her demise. And Edgar, a raging Osori, killing all closest to him. Do I know what any of that means? No, I'm a skull! Did its skill give me goosebumps? No, I'm a skull! I don't have skin! Still, they survived the encounter and pressed forward, only to come face to face with another fear. Failure. They found a group of aberrant adventurers who battled them with sickly powers and incredible strength. It was close, but in the end my eyeless face sockets saw the living defeat death. It was sick. But my question to you is this. As this party presses forward towards the point of coalescence, were those images of fear and failure triumphs that show growth? Or were they warnings of what is to befall these heroes? I don't know. I am a skull. Thank you. That was actually a great recap. Uh, so, I, guys, I, I think that was a speak with dead talk spell and not just a speak with oh, dead. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, no, that makes mm -hmm. sense. Uh, yeah. yeah. That does make sense. Well, yeah. Uh, well, at least it still gave us a nice uh, recap on things. Oh. So, mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Well, uh, in the meantime, uh, let's head back yeah. to the world of Elmera. So, uh, we return to the caves under Avon. Uh, so one thing you would all notice. Uh, so there is a passageway that leads north beyond the other than the passage in the northern passage that you came in from. However, there is a large a, uh, a sort of door there instead of it being an open passage. Uh, and I think you guys were all talking about you think you should do a short rest instead of a long rest. Is that right? Yes. Yes. Uh, I don't think Tauros needs it, right? Tauros is fine. Uh, okay, I can man through it. He probably feels great. Pulls it okay, out. I'll be fine. Uh, and were, was anyone collecting the weapons off of the Aberrant Adventures? Yeah. I was going to start some looting. Okay, uh, so the Misty Dagger, uh, you know, is what it is. It's a, 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 a regular dagger, but it has two charges. Once you use a charge, it lets you use uh, a bonus action to cast Misty Step. Um, however... Uh, it has used both of its charges already for the day because the wizard already used The wizard it. used them. Uh, Doctor's Orders is full up. If anyone needs a reminder of what Doctor's Orders does, uh, that's the mace that the cleric had. Uh, and then the rogue's uh, weapon is one that's a passive ability. It, you don't use uh charges for it and the fighter heavy hammer hefty hammer yeah. i think he used two charges of it so it still has two more charges uh anybody want anything in particular from here as he's like very obviously passing the hammer to tauros the hammer <clears throat> does require a strength of 18 or higher to wield Oh, I can't wield that yet. Uh oh. 
Do we, Oberon? Do we want to put it in the bag for now? I don't know if Oberon. Oberon. I'm exactly the strength. Ooh. Of it. Let's go. Uh, I'll, I'll take it. So, as a reminder of the ability, uh, when you make a, a successful attack with it, uh, you can expend a charge to uh, force the creature to make a strength saving throw. And if they fail, they are knocked prone. Uh, and this isn't an action or a bonus action. It's just when you hit, you can choose to expend a charge. Like a smite. Right. Uh, the DC is equal to 8 plus your strength plus your proficiency bonus. Gotcha. And what kind of hammer is it? It's a, uh, it's a, uh, a war hammer. So, d uh, versatile, uh, uh, D8, D10. D8, D10, yeah. Uh, and it does also just flatly deal an additional, um, an additional, uh, a D6 of force damage on top of its regular damage. Mm. Uh, Did I, oh, that's it. If I wasn't a caster in this game... You, yeah, yeah, Alice, how does it feel? <laughs> so bad. Well, don't worry. If your backup character ends up having to get called in, I think your backup character can make good use of the hefty hammer. My backup character would love the hefty hammer, but we have T now. <laughs> <laughs> or my backup, or character or. Would, my backup character would also love the hefty hammer. And your backup okay. character would be willing to kill someone for it. <laughs> Specifically Tauros. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, uh, S is gonna look at the what was it the sting? so the rogue's weapon was called death's death's mm. sting. Yeah. It is a rapier uh, that if the creature hit by it is unaware of the wielder's presence, they take an additional d6 of necrotic damage. So that that d6 of necrotic only happens if the if you're attacking from hit from hiding. And they have to succeed on a constitution saving throw or be poisoned for one minute. Gotcha. Uh, gotcha. But they get to repeat the saving throw, and if they succeed, they're immune to the effect for the next 24 hours. Uh, does that include the damage or just the poison just, just the poison condition. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And that DC is equal to 8 plus your proficiency plus your... Uh, that would be plus your intelligence modifier Ooh. because it's about you poisoning someone yeah with my, my intelligence modifier is high mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah actually i guess i would take that okay it requires attunement, right uh it, mm -hmm. it does not require attunement but it is also just the regular base damage is just a regular rapier it's it's yeah, yeah. it doesn't have a plus one to attacks and yeah. damage the, po the poison only comes if i'm hidden right uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Are red beers light weapons, or are they not? They, they are not. I don't think they're ah. light, but they are finesse. They're finesse. Yeah, yeah. Finesse, yeah. yeah they. They're you can't. You can't dual wield like, with a red yeah, beer. Yeah, yeah. You need the uh, dual wielder so, feet to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'll need to pick and choose which weapon I'm going to use when still sneak attacking. But that's fine. Mm -hmm. Take that red beer. Uh, let me go ahead and add that. I would be interested in a misty dagger if folks are okay with that. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it's just a regular dagger, but it has two charges. When you use a charge, you can use a you can use a bonus action to expend a charge and cast misty step. Awesome. Uh, uh -huh. It's so for oh sorry for the death sting for the two attack. Is it a plus one or is it just straight with dex plus proficiency? the 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 four the sorry the two hit like two hit it, it it's it's scaled off of decks okay but is it a, is it a magic like a plus one or is it just no regular it's just okay. a regular regular weapon no when it comes to attack and then the poison is it's a it's a d6 necrotic and the con the con the con the the, the sorry the con save the saving throw health. dc is yeah. eight plus proficiency plus intelligence okay gotcha 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 uh, and then Doctor's Orders was the mace that the cleric had. Yeah, we saw an ability of it, the save a friend thing, right? Where it no, took away. That save, save a friend. That was, that was their own cleric. ability. Did we see yep. Doctor's Orders do anything? Uh, Doctor's Orders didn't no, get okay. used in the fight. Yeah, um, all right. But, but I can't, we have no idea. So yeah, you guys wouldn't know how it works. Yeah. Um, 
I did tell you guys what it did mm-hmm. uh, last session, but in character, you wouldn't know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Does anyone want to hold on to this? Do we just put it in the bag? Like, it's reasonable to assume that it's a magical weapon, considering yeah. Yeah. what you what the rest of the group had. We can but... safely put it in the bag for right mm-hmm. now. All right. All right. So I believe uh, we said that you all had, what was it, uh, 14 hours before the deadline comes up? Yeah, because we said yeah. if we wanted to take a long rest, technically we, we could, could, but, we could, but like, it would cut, it'd cut it real short. We would, yeah. we would have to know what we're doing the moment we get out of these fucking caves. Let's, let's just... Short rest? Yeah. Our wounds for a second. Mm. All right. Yeah, you all can take a short rest. Uh, as you're taking this short rest, are you staying in this central chamber uh, with the northern I door? I think we may want to head back to um, mm. either mm. like the room where we found the uh, where we fought the angel or something like that. Going back close to the entrance wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah, case for yeah. Okay. I think so. Uh, so you can either go back the way you came, or you can try going down the uh, southern back. passage. Using the breadcrumbs that I've been laying the whole time, I think we go back. Okay. If everyone's yeah. cool about it. All right. So I you... do, as we walk back, want to see, because I'm trying to keep them in a decent line, if any of them have looked disturbed. Yeah, uh, give me a perception check as you follow back on your breadcrumb trail. Ten. Uh, you can't discern yeah. from the ten whether or not any major disturbances have happened. Cool. Uh, okay, so you all uh, begin to head back uh, the way you came. Uh, so you head back through the Voller room. Uh, down the corridor, past the room where you fought the Itiaga, uh, down into the corridor where you found Gilsey the first time, and then back into the central circular chamber. Yes. <laughs> Boop. Boop. There we go. Tell the fuck down, Thomas, you're going too fast. <laughs> I'm a quick guy. <laughs> Fuck it, we ball mentality. <laughs> Fuck it, we ball. Fuck it, we bull. All right, bull. Uh, hey, yo. And I'll move you back down there, T. Oh, thanks. All right. Did, um, just out of curiosity, does anyone know if the dynamic lighting got updated or something? Because my Mac wouldn't let me run roll 20 because it said I was outdated. Weird. I'm Even not though we sure. just did this, I know, though. I say, I, I know. Voltmite's been doing some update stuff. I don't know about the dynamic lighting. Weird. Oh, well. I was just curious. I'm on my other PC now, but I was just curious okay. if you guys knew. Alright, uh, so you all head back to that uh, first area and uh, set up a short rest. Um, mm-hmm. Alright, everyone can roll their hit dice. Uh, um, let's see. What's Wounds HP? Looking like he's at 49 out of 65, so he's gonna just roll... 3d10 plus 9. So I think maybe what caused it, Zach, is roll because I looked at my emails to see mm-hmm. roll 20 recently added something called Dungeon Scroll. It's like another program where you can make 3d environments. Oh. So maybe that's what caused that it. That might be messing it up. I'm not 100% sure, but an idea. Yeah. Eight. Damn it. Uh, how many am I down from full? So. Actually, I was like, yeah, I think that might fill me up, just those two. Oh, that's close. Uh, I'll try to get 10. Okay, 8, so I'll be at 57. Damn. I'm two away from max. Damn it. Okay, that's still one nine. Off. Yeah, okay. I, if I had rolled better on that second one, it would have been at max. Ah, five. Um, right, Kills, he's almost at max. He's only four hit points away. Okay. Fucking eight. ball. So, he has used up all of his God. first and second level spells, though. 
I'm trying to decide if I want to use three sorcery points to get back a second or, level. No, sorry. He's used up all of his first level spells, but he's used up all of his healing on his second level spells. Okay. And he used his mass healing word, so he only has... He only has a few spells left. Gotcha. Um, I am. I have exactly one hit dice left, and I'm only down three hit points. And it's my barbarian hit dice that I've been saving. Gotcha. So, okay, that's fair. All right. Uh, All right. So you all Alice, head. Alice, what were, what were you thinking? Were you? Asking? I'm trying to decide if I want to use three sorcery points to get a second level back. What are your What are what your are, what, are you, yeah. what are your spell slots looking like? I have a fourth, a third, and two firsts. Grabbing one I, second level might not be a bad idea, honestly. What are your Just second level spells? Um, I have Scorching Ray, Rave, Enfeeblement, Blindness, Deafness, Flame Bait, Detect Thoughts, Pyrotechnics. But, um, how many sorcery points do you have left still? Five left. So I'd only have two. What, um, what meta magic do you have? What meta mag magic magics do you have? I have Quickened and Empowered. I you can get them. away with just having two left because you can quicken a cantrip for one. Yeah. yeah, That's true. And you can do that so you can do that twice. Um, yeah. I would I would say I'd say go for it if you want. You could even try and get a third back if you would want that extra third. It's up to you, though. I think I'll go for one second. Okay. All right. Uh, any. Uh, oh. Also, during this short rest, if anyone wants to try to make an arcana like check to... on any of the magic items. Oh, yeah. I will. Try. Why not? Absolutely. Um... So you're going to have to tell me what magic item you're, you're doing this on. The hammer. Uh, I'm the... doing uh, that sting. So the, the, 21. the hammer, you already have a good idea, so I'll let you use that on a, on a different item. Unless you were talking about Doctor's Orders, the mace. Um... I was talking about Hefty Hammer just because I know that I've got a decent idea on it, but I didn't know if like I knew hmm. like everything about it. But, I've already told um, you everything about it, so you. I'm gonna good. check out the ceramic jug with ten spouts. Okay. Uh. Cool. No, I'm not. No, you don't. Know, the, will, the jug remains a mystery. <laughs> I will look at the jug upon seeing T. Like, look at the jug, turn it upside down, and then just be like. Mm. Right. Sit down and walking away. Uh, Essa, what were you working on? Uh, death sting, because I don't think I Essa knew what it did. Uh, you saw it in action, so I'll say you know what okay. it did. If you want to use that twenty one on something can, else, can so I, can I do the? Oh. I say, can I do the jug if that would help? So I'll I, I'll say oh, actually, Oberon's sorry, eighteen will be enough to to identify okay. the jug. So what else do we have that we don't know? Doctor's. We've orders. got a lantern, a wand. And, and Doctor's, Doctor's orders. orders. I would mm. say the, the wand or lantern yeah. before Doctor's I, Orders. Yeah, I'll mm -hmm. do the wand in case T okay. can use it. All right. Uh, so, uh, and then Obra uh, or Taurus, uh, 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 were you going to try something? I'll look at oh. the, the... What do you want to look at? Edgar? I was going to do Doctor's Orders. Okay, I'll look at the uh, the lantern then. Okay. I'm not good at Arcana, though. It's a 15. Hey, 20. All right, yeah, that... I'll I'll say that identifies everything. Um, and I'll say, Alice, you you were giving to to save you as the magic user's feelings. You were you, Oberon you. was just helping you uh, figure out what was going on. It's there up to go. Oberon if he wants to take the credit for it. Um, uh, he probably <laughs> will. will feel bad. Okay. Uh, so the jug you've identified as an alchemy jug. Yeah. What? I did not see coming. It's a ceramic jug, appears to hold a gallon of liquid, weighs 12 pounds, whether full or empty. If you slosh it around, you can hear uh sloshing sounds can be heard if the jug is shaken, even if it even if it is empty. Using an action, you can name one liquid from the table below to cause the jug to produce the chosen liquid. Afterward, you cork uncork the jug as an action, and it can pour that liquid out up to two gallons a minute. Uh, the maximum amount of liquid can produce. Uh, maximum amount it can produce is based on the liquid that you name. Uh, so, uh, I will. 
Let me see if I have the alchemy jug in my compendium. If I do, I'll try to just copy and paste it into a handout for you guys. Yeah. I do. Oh, guys, guys, who wants two gallons of mayonnaise? Me. Hold the mayonnaise. Can't, can't you make coffee? All right. Oh, hell yeah. No. Uh, so oh, I did. I did just show the uh, article to everyone. So there should be a handout for Hi. the alchemy jug available to everyone now. Uh, no coffee is just bullshit. Yeah. There are no coffee. It makes acid, basic poison, beer, honey, mayonnaise, oil, vinegar, fresh water, salt water, and wine. We never have to worry about rations again, guys. Mayonnaise for days. <laughs> if you only eat mayonnaise, you will take exhaustion levels because that is not reasonable. <laughs> it's the best All right, mayonnaise and honey, baby. baby. The best way to kill an enemy, just, the best, the best yeah. enemy, just make a whole 12 gallons of salt water and shove it down their throats. Mm -hmm. Just drink fish. All right. Uh, so then the next item will be the lantern. Uh, so the lantern that you found is a... Da, da, da. I think I might, as we do this further on, make it so that only one person can identify one... To attempt to identify one item, and if you mm -hmm. fail, you will have to use an identify spell. Mm -hmm. But for the purposes of this, I don't mind letting it happen. Um, or, only, or only they can only try once a day. Once a day like might be the way to do it, yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Um, anyways... The lantern is a lantern of revealing. While lit, this hooded lantern burns for six hours on one pint of oil, shedding bright light in a 30-foot radius, dim light for an additional 30 feet. Invisible creatures and objects are visible as long as they are in the lantern's bright light. Ooh. You can use an action to lower the hood, reducing the light to dim light in a 5-foot radius. Oh, that's that can good. be really good, honestly. Yeah. All right. Last of the magic items you got from the horde, uh, from Tuama's uh, fallen attempt would be liberators, is the wand. Yeah. The wand is meteor swarm. Wand of meteor swarm. Wand of wish. Wand of the war mage. Wand of wands. It is well, wand up from fairies fairly uh, <laughs> Yeah, just so it's a million wands. Uh, the wand is a wand of secrets. The Ooh. wand has three charges. While holding it, you can use an action to expend a charge. If a secret door or trap is within 30 feet of you, the wand pulses and points at the one nearest to you. Oh, that's gonna be useful. Wand regains a D3 of expended charges daily at dawn. Oh, that's gonna be It really is useful. also, but it's also very vague, because it's like, yeah, there's a trap. There's a trap there. in that direction. Well, it's a secret door or a trap, and it doesn't yeah. to tell you so which one it is. Yeah. So having information is gonna be more helpful than not having information. <laughs> All right, and then the all last right. item, Doctor's Orders, you all learn is a mace uh, that uh, mm, it's a regular mace, uh, no bonus to damage or attack, uh, and no additional special damage, but when a creature is dealt damage by it, the wielder can expend a charge. It has four charges, can expend a charge to force the creature to make a wisdom save on a fail, the creature falls prone, feeling compelled to lie down and rest for a while. Uh, this feeling passes at the start of its next turn. Right. So they don't get up from prone, they just mm -hmm. are not compelled to be prone anymore. And that is a save that is based on your... Uh, the DC is based on 8 plus proficiency plus uh, charisma. You gotta be. You have to have, have to have good bedside manner to to make doctor's orders work. That could be actually a good one for Tauros if, yeah. if Charisma starts going up through the ASIs. I'm focusing only on my charisma as we level so up. Yeah, so like that could be a really good one for him to hold on to. You fucking better. <laughs> oh, yeah. The only yeah. charisma. We don't have a face it. of this party. We need you guys. Yeah. Only a big... <laughs> oh yeah. Let's only go. I, saw, <laughs> I saw the fucking inhale of breath. That was it. She was like the party. No face. 
<laughs> Listen, I'm going to start bumping my charisma. You guys owe me some really fancy strength magic items. All it's right. fine, guys. I just know where you sleep. <laughs> That's not true. Doctor's orders. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you, babe. Uh, so you've all rested. You're all patched up as best you can be. Uh, you have identified all of your magic items. Uh, again, uh, Doctor's Orders is at full. None of the charges have been used. Misty Dagger, completely depleted. It will not regain its charges until tomorrow. Uh, Hefty Hammer has had two of its uh, charges expended. And Death Sting doesn't use charges. So, sure. Uh, can anyone use the wand? Or do you have to be a spell? Cast? Anyone can use the wand. It is. It is gotcha. not. Uh, I don't it's believe not... it requires attunement by a spellcaster. It's not cool. bad for so. our scout. Yeah. Yeah. You see, just double checking, but I'm pretty sure. Nope, does not require attunement. Sweet. That's for the what? Wand of secrets. Wand of secrets. Gotcha. And here, I'll also, I'll put it out so that it uh, will also be a handout you all can see for the Wand of Secrets. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. Ooh. Uh, does the Lantern also, does the Lantern require attunement? The Lantern does not require attunement. Gotcha. Nice. And I will put that out so that you all can have that oh, as a handout as well. Honestly, oh. I think it might be good to have... She holds on to that since she's yeah, easily so. out of the fray. Yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can, you now have a source of oil that you don't have to buy lantern oil. Oh, yeah. That's true. true. We already used all of it for mayonnaise, though. So, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. We, used, we made exactly one gallon of mayonnaise and one gallon of honey, and we're just going to mix them together. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. <laughs> it's an aioli. Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Boo. You gotta get some garlic. <laughs> Kill I, this man. I can't wait to see what wonderful things you do with that uh, uh, alchemy. Job. Torture, torture is gonna be great. Now. Oh my god! Thank you, Jack. Uh, I, uh, I hate you. <laughs> All right. Have you ever seen what two gallons? Maybe of he should hang on to the jug <laughs> too. <laughs> Just, <laughs> I mean, I told you this, guys. This power is not made for mortal minds. <laughs> I told you the best way to kill someone just make it all 12 gallons of salt water and shove it down their throats. We got waterboarding as one option. We also it's got mayo boarding. boarding. It's mayo boarding. <laughs> that sounds like a really nasty We're surfing. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, so now that we've explored the horrors of those uh, ideas, are you guys going to head back to that uh, to that chamber you were just in? Yeah. He sounds yeah. too happy about it. I don't know yeah, if he should. We start it's walking back and it's gone. Uh, Hunter's Bane heightened sense is just going to be doing some listening uh, throughout the short rest and everything to see if sounds are getting louder, if we're hearing any commotion around us. There has been significant... As you are taking your short rest, you're noticing there's a lot less noise in these caves uh, than when you first arrived. You guys have done a fairly good job of clearing out a lot of the inhabitants of this cave. Uh, you still Yay. sense that there are things out and about. Uh, however, there's not, you know, like you guys have definitely cleared out over half of the things living in these caves. Good. When we check our HUD, it says 50%. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. All right. Uh, as you all make your way back, uh, you find yourselves back in that place. Let me just pull you up. Um. Also, Oberon has um has uh lightning break on his back right now, and has the hammer in one hand, shield in the other. Gotcha. So, uh, you find yourselves uh move you lazy people up here um i did it i did it jack jack mm -hmm. i came up by myself <laughs> uh, way to be a kiss ass give this man a cookie all right well um give a man a cookie so you all find yourselves in this chamber like i said there's this stone door uh looking at this oh also i did also want to give a chance 
remember the cleric had a holy symbol that no one here recognized. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yep. Yep. That's uh, true. Uh, no one recognized upon just seeing it. I would, if anyone is interested, I would allow a religion check to try to figure out what that holy symbol was for. Probably wants to oh, not be me. I'll try, I'll try. it. Ultimate. Ten, probably not. Holy 19. shit! Great job. Oh my! Oh Wait. my god! That's a nineteen for me. Right. So one day oh, wasn't oh, 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 oh my god! god. Yeah, how do a deer? Who who else matters, my guy? Okay. Well, <laughs> the DC was eighteen. Um, only a deer. So I'm mother. literally the only one. Yes. Can can Kilsey do one? <gasps> Ooh. Uh, oh no! Don't let him. Fuck that penguin. Kilsey Kilsey looks you all point at the sign and Kilsey's like, I don't like looking at dead bodies. Um there it is. Uh, oh, so, bitch. uh T. You it takes you a while to like try to remember it, but you do. This is a holy symbol of a dwarven god uh on the shield of this dwarven cleric. Um Makes sense. You would recognize that this is one of the gods uh, whose worship um, triggered the most recent crusade. Uh, Back, uh, let me double check. I think uh, about 50 years ago. Um, Just double check here. Uh, so uh, actually about 43 years ago to be more precise uh, for several months there was an event called the Great Cleansing a, uh, a armies of paladins marched through the empire because a cult worshiping dwarven and gnomish gods had uh, risen to such prominence that it was deemed a threat to the sylvanist church and a group and paladins were ordered out to go around round up everyone uh, uh, who was a part of this cult or suspected as part of this cult Many were burned at the stake as heretics. Others were simply executed uh, by hanging. Uh, but it, it was a moment that uh, saw the death of uh, uh, near, like, at the very like minimum estimates, uh, close to a uh, hundred people. Uh, all, all of whom were. Until their their uh, sentencing considered uh, Elmeran citizens. Well, that explains why none of us recognize the symbol. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, Would T share this information? With I was about to say. I'm guessing yeah, yeah. he's explaining oh, yeah. this out loud. Oh, yeah. Jack is giving exposition. Mm-hmm. So this must, they must be old then. Someone's coming here wielding the shield of this god. It had to be before they were considered a threat. If we had time to do a little autopsy on any of these bodies, that might be interesting to find out. But I think we're on a time crunch. I think so. All right. So looking at this stone door, you see it's very clearly a door. There are seams along it, uh, and carved into the stone, uh, you see a uh, a, a figure carved in uh, the shape of a, a humanoid body, uh, but with uh, a goat's head uh along with uh long curled horns uh 
broad figure, uh, though obviously feminine, uh, uh, considering uh, the features that are on this figure. Uh, uh, and there is an inscription uh, below uh, the figure uh, uh, that is written uh, in a language that only uh, Edgar can read. Uh, so I think Edgar on the character sheet it says that you speak abyssal I think we had talked about that just being Fomorin uh, yes but you uh, uh, had to choose abyssal when we were making your yeah thing. Mm -hmm. I'll edit that right now mm -hmm. uh, so yeah so this there is an inscription in Fomorin that reads um, beyond here lies access to our lady Oh shit! What's up? I'll say it out loud for everyone. Fuck! I don't know what that means. I suppose this would be the point, and beyond this point is the other side. I guess I guess so. Yeah. Kills around to Lekaroth. Is this the point? Is this where you came here from? Uh, well, this is a division between the beginning of um, what leads into the point compared to the rest of these caves. Wang. All right. So when it says this in Fomorin, what does it mean, Kelsey, that Fomora was here? This was a place where those who worshipped my lady would come to commune with her directly. Wait. So, oh. yeah. And Edgar that? hasn't told us the true origin of the town, has he? Uh, Edgar would... I don't think Edgar has told you the story of the, uh, of the Asori. The tree and, or The yeah. tree okay. and everything. Yeah. Huh. Oberon, you would know from the notes you were given about this place that uh, this place was a holy site for a sorry. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So, Oberon, Oberon's known, but at this point, he's looking for whatever he can get, so he's not really making a big deal out of it. Very fair. Kilsey, do you know if this door is trapped at all? If you do, you remember? Uh -huh. I, I do not believe so. Uh, Essa's gonna scan it just to be safe. Ah, eh, well, you know, you have a wand. You know, you fancy have new, a wand. Fancy wand. New fancy new wand. Like the wand, and use one of the charges and just see. All right, you point the wand up at the door. Uh, you, you know, kind of just swivel it out as best you as you think is what activates it. And it briefly hums, kind of like vibrates slightly in your hand uh, as it begins and activates. Uh, then after it finishes activating, it does not move. At least this door doesn't seem trapped. All right. Well, um... it's like our only way forward. Yeah. You come this far. All right. Uh, what's your marching order as you approach the door? Essa is still scouting ahead. Okay, Essa, you go up and you press on the door. It will not budge. Do I feel like there's something locking it, or do I feel like it's just too heavy for me? Uh, give me an investigation check. Will do. Uh, William, twenty. Oh, modified 20. buddy, modified twenty. All right, yeah, so you're pushing on it, and you're like, you can see the seams. Like, this door, it's like a one big, wide double door. The figure that's carved into it is, like, at the center seam of it. Um, and as you're pushing in, trying to open the door, it will not budge. 
you're looking at it it's made of stone there's no like complic there's no like lock in lock. it for you stone. to like try to pick or anything um so you assume there must be some sort of magical thing barrier preventing you from opening this door okay well, like if plan. you got people with a bunch of pickaxes and sledgehammers you might be able to break it down but that would yeah take forever yeah. Says, Happy like, hammer. Says, she's like pulls back and goes well that's a roadblock in our plan it's not gonna budge something i'm going to assume something magical kills it do you know if there was i know it's been a long time but do you know if there was any phrase any thing people would say to have the door open i i didn't see very many people go beyond the door i rushed through it was it opened for me very easily I wonder and, an open story. And Oberon, Oberon's just going to take a step back. <laughs> and you may want to try. Back it up. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm yeah. Smack by a stone door. <laughs> we'll let this fucking penguin get got. <laughs> Sorry, just a second. A fucking gun just points at the wall and shoots Kilsey. <laughs> <laughs> to everyone oh, but Kilsey. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was to Amora all along. Uh, it appears I have had my hubris. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh. So yeah. So Kilsey goes up to it, kind of like touches on it, uh, and then says. You'd notice uh, there's not really, there's like a shift in the door, but it's not all the way there. It's, it's like, it definitely responds to Kilsey's touch, but it looks like it, it may have been something that it was easy for him to get out of the door, but not necessarily back in. Mm. Uh, he says, oh, gee, I... I don't know. I, I thought that it would just open up normally. Wait. I'm wondering if it only opens for followers of Femora. Or for those. Say, Oberon's eyes kind of like go to Edgar. Yeah. Um, that was my thought too, but if there's a follower of Femora, literally kills he, is it too? Yeah. Well, maybe, so to, to maybe be I fair, can try. To, maybe it's... to be specific, I'm a celestial in the service of my lady. I'm not a Worships mortal who worships her. Actual physical faith. I'll try. I guess I'll go and put my hand on it. Uh, is this the? First. Sorry, is this the hand that you use to draw your crimson rites? Yeah, I would go with my dominant hand for sure. Yeah. So this hand, I imagine. You've, you've staunched your bleeding as well as you could, but you guys have been in fights and stuff like that, so you still have some blood lingering on you. There's always oh, a little no. bit of blood on Edgar. As you press your hand against the door, it doesn't seem like, like just you're touching, but the fact of your blood touching the door, it's suddenly like the stone sort of rises up like it was set in grooves and then begins to swing backward, creaking open through, like, unseen hinges. Oh, And zombie man. Edgar comes out. <laughs> hey, guess that worked. Oh. Ragda comes out, evil Edgar. Ragda! <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I imagine marching for uh, order going forward is uh, still Essa in front? Yes. I'll, yes. Be, I'll be next to... I'll be right behind Essa. I'll keep the back... Yeah, I'll be um, right in front of. Uh, may want wound to be in the back, Zach. Just in okay. Case. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Uh, I'll be right behind. Uh, I'll be right behind Edgar. Oh, wow. really great. Uh, as soon as the, ooh, there you. As soon as the door is open, uh, I want to see if I'm getting that same smell that I got from the hornets and the fallers. No. You okay. smell something different as you approach. Um, it is unlike the Hordits and Ballers. This is not a fiend that you're smelling. Gotcha. 
Uh, so you all begin to march forward. Uh, Essa got that nat 20 <laughs> for a total of 30 on a stealth check, which is uh, bananas bonkers. Um, I'm finally roguing. Uh, look, at, look, at, look at our boy roguing. Okay. I rolled a third of so that. Far. With a 10. <laughs> all right. How far ahead are you, Essa? Since Edgar I think we established be... like I won't be team. too close, but I will be. I want to be next, so I'm the closest to you in case so, you need. Yeah, I, so I like, thirty feet up. I say, yeah. yeah, knowing that we're going into deeper, it's like where the shit is going to get real. Essa would have them be closer, so it's about thirty feet because was the, he was always about forty five before, but he'll he'll stay about thirty now. All right. So just in case he needs to run that quickly. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five, thirty. That's, right. what it'd be. That's a dynamic lighting issue. I don't know why the, those three squares are black, but uh, they shouldn't be. Um, so, okay. As you move forward, uh, you come up to a cur uh, bend to the right, or to the uh, east. Um, along the walls, as you all are walking forward, uh, they're all inscribed, chiseled in, like... Figures looking like a sorry figures like the uh, figure that was drawn on the door that you opened uh, all like different like stages like histories things like that carved into the walls as you move forward. Um, as you all continue forward. Uh, I can't imagine the emotional whiplash Edgar is having right now. Oh, this is wild. Mm hmm. So as you continue forward, uh, Essa, I believe seems... you are seeing something now. Yeah, that's, I've seen quite a lot of things that are not great. So, Essa, as you continue forward, uh, let's have everyone move up. Um, Essa, the uh, passage opens out into a large chamber. Uh, with six pillars standing inside of it, like supporting. This is no longer like rough hewn stone, like natural erosion caves. These are places that were carved out by artisans and, and is like a place that's deliberate in how it appears. However, you can see the masonry, the stonework, even like the, the, uh, uh, reliefs carved into the walls are showing their age. They haven't been kept up and things like that. Some of the pillars are cracked. In the very back of this room, Essa, you see this sort of uh, spiraling, swirling gathering of like light uh, in the very back of this room. Uh, but before it, what you see is this large, misshapen creature. It, from the, it, from the bottom, it looks like a horse, uh, but where the horse would, like, the neck would begin, instead you see the torso of a humanoid figure. Wow. Uh, Fuck. However, this doesn't, you, you, I, like, as you start thinking like a centaur, you remember reading like I don't think you've ever seen a centaur in person, but you remember reading that like these are those are naturally occurring creatures. Those are creatures that are born like this. This creature, where its torso meets the humanoid torso meets the horse torso, you see a nasty looking scar all the way oh, around its waist. No. Oh, 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 uh, oh. The flesh has like been knitted together in oh. a way that looks excruciating. Uh oh. Uh, can I see? Can I tell what it's doing from here, or do I have to, I have to get closer? right now? It's standing stock still, looking straight ahead, away from the uh, uh, spiraling light. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You can see from from the torso up. You see it uh, appears to be something roughly, maybe dwarven, um, uh, some sort of dwarven man. However, he looks buff. Like, his body is, like, his hair is falling out. He is, skin is, like, kind of sagging off of his body. And uh, on 
the backs of his upper arms and all sprouting out of his back are these massive crystals uh, that seem to be thrumming with arcana or, or, or for with arcane energy. Uh, and again, like I said, he is standing perfectly stock still, looking straight ahead. And in one hand, he holds this. It's like a lance, but it's been somehow molded into the flesh of his arm. Uh, and unlike the hordits that you fought earlier in this cave, again, this doesn't seem like something that's just a natural extension of his body. This is something that was affixed to him. He's going to take some steps back because <laughs> that is terrifying. And he's going to kind of get catch up to the rest of the party to kind of where he can speak to them in like hush whispers and go, Okay, so there is some kind of swirling. Can I tell like the light was arcane in nature? The swirling light. Give me, give me an arcana check. Yeah, not great at those. 14. 14. You didn't get the sense of magic from that thing. It was less of a, like, magic like what you've seen T do. Like, there was definitely a magic sense from it, but it was less of a magic of what T can do, and more similar to a magic of what Tauros can do. It seemed more divinely I, sourced yeah. as opposed so, to I, arcane sourced. As that goes up and goes, so... Swirling lights, and it seemed to be similar to... You, like Tora, if once the Torah goes to what you can do, so that might be a way forward. It's probably our point. Big problem. <laughs> Big fucking um, centaur looking motherfucker in there. Uh, but he's not a centaur. Not not one that I read about. He looks like sewn together. So, so like yeah, someone like, put it together. Someone took parts of a horse parts of a man and seemingly a lance and made it into that and also oh, just giant, giant crystals in his back and turn to kfc and just you does this sound familiar kfc is like shaking uh and he says <laughs> yes this was the thing that was brought to replace the fiend and don't remember you said this or not. You remember who or what brought it? I do not know. I was not here when the fiend was replaced. I did not I did not learn my mission was was given to me after the fiend had already rejected his purpose in being here. Alright then. You need to be prepared for this creature if it was enough to scare chosen of Madeira way, it's most likely stronger nastier. I guess we should get ready for a fight. I suppose. Sounding like it. You want to try gonna... a stealth method or do we want to go in guns blazing? Or weapon swinging, I guess would be a better term. <laughs> we should try stealth, but I am gonna go primal avatar just as an FYI before we That's... get started. I feel like you may want to have the stealth method and stay back. You and T stay back. Let me, Tauros, and Edgar. Please, of it. if you're going in close, please be very careful of that. It but came before we go. Terrifying. Does anybody have any need any more potions before we? Go? I'm out, but if I'm staying back, it's better to keep the metal off with you. Yeah, and O'Brien will hand you two normal healing potions. Have... I, still, I still have both of mine. And my greater. Do you have any potions left, O'Brien? Yes, you... I have one normal, one greater, and one superior. You all still also have dog disointment. Yeah. Yeah, we still have dog disointment. We might want to get the... that out of the bag. Yeah, it's in the group bag that I'm holding on to. I think... You 
what T should hold on to it, Nessa. I, if any of you get hurt, I can run in quickly and use it, so I'll hold on to it. Would you like two and I'll take two? Yeah. Of the ointment? Yeah. Oh, oh. The ointment is in a jar. So the, like, yeah, like, oh, okay. It's four it applications in one yeah. jar. Right. Yeah. Okay. So okay. Nessa would have to take it, run in quickly, use it, and then get <laughs> Edgar's out. still rolling max damage on the crimson right. <laughs> Oh Damn. 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 This time, Edgar just shoves his whole sword through his hand. This does like more damage than the enemies have. Edgar, you, you, your blood sprays against the walls, and like new doors open up. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> and more. So, so you're taking the Dagda ointment. Yeah, yeah, he'll take. He'll take. And okay. you can take the two healing potions then. Yeah. I'll hand okay. Those to, they were to... regular. Just yeah. regular. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Uh, how much does Dag Dagda's healing ointment do again? Uh, let me. What's the normal name of it again? It's like Kyogathams or something like that. Yeah, hold up. Kyogathams ointment. Uh, hold up. I'll bring it out so that you all can see it. It's. Uh, you should have a handout for it now. It's uh, a yeah. D four. Sorry, it's a two D eight plus two hit points. Yes. And ceases poison. to be poisoned and cures any diseases. Yes. So. Okay, cool. I'm going to go yeah. ahead and change that to Dogda's ointment. Okay. Uh, just so that, yeah. you know, it fits with my lore because my lore <laughs> is more important. Um... <laughs> All right. And um, then just turn to everybody, just whatever you want. To get ready, just go and turn to T if you have any spells that you would want to cast before we get in there. I think I'll hold off on the fireballing for now. I don't know if it would disrupt that divine portal. Uh, I am going to use my regular healing potion now. Okay. <laughs> since you since you brutalized you yourself know, yeah. for eleven <laughs> points of damage. Minimum healing. Almost. That's good. That's good. Uh, uh, and I am going to Primal Avatar, really hoping that all this Asori energy will allow me to Asori form. Oh, shoot. I forgot to make you a table. Hold up real quick. This is the song of Jack. Getting to Making make the table. table. I realized a gambling class like Blood Hunter is not good for someone who rolls. The Shit. opposite of what you need. Yeah. Yeah. But AJ, just be better. <laughs> I love how sometimes Essa mm -hmm. just fully goes into like, Skillish. so there's a big scary motherfucker over there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so hey, did you want me to bring up the pictures I... of you doing the crossbow, crossbow event at Red Fair? Do it. Do it. <laughs> this is doing Do it. the worst possible. <laughs> I had just done archery and gotten three bullseyes. Was it three bullseyes or two bullseyes? Damn. You did get, yeah, you mm, I did like three yeah, bullseyes, yeah. and then he did crossbows. I didn't get one. I, so I did it. It was the it with the ping pong ball, right? And so yeah. I did it with my eye patch on one handed, and the guy was like, "Why are you doing one handed?" I was like, "That's what my character does." <laughs> <laughs> Fucking show us it. Was he also like your character is a fictional character who fights monsters for a living? Mm -hmm. Everyone there knows what D&D &D is, Trey. You don't need to explain D&D yeah. &D at the Ren Fair. I was going to say, at the Ren Fair, probably not. Yeah. Uh, well, well, real quick while we're waiting. We went into a CVS at like 9 p.m. <laughs> after the Ren Fair. And oh, it was yeah. just us and yep. like an employee. The employee comes over to us and just starts talking to us about why we were there. And we said the Ren Fair and that we were dressed as our D&D &D characters. And then he, like, soul-searches us for what We weren't even in our costumes we anymore. Yeah. We were in, like, jeans and t-shirts. And he and got full red. I'm pretty right. Okay. Mine was a little off, but Elven Sorceress, Elven Mage for Alice. What did he say? Oh, Warrior what? for me. He didn't give yeah. a race, but he just said Warrior. Yeah. And then I got a bard. Not bad. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got a bard. Got a bard. You do give off basic bard energy. <laughs> All right. Uh, I have that table ready to go. I will say, so the table is weighted so that there's a 25% chance of Asori and a 75% chance of Sylvan. 
Cool. Uh, I will say, because you are surrounded by all this Asori stuff, you're in a very Asori mood, I will let you roll twice uh, and we'll honor if Asori shows up. Is it a d20? Uh, no, it should be, there should be a table that you can grab. Okay, so uh, you have to actually put the table in. Well, yeah. I hit token and then it doesn't do anything. So if you go, if you hit the little uh, the one with the three bars, you can roll. Here, here so go AJ. Go to right next to the one with three bars. Macros? Right next to the is it macros? Is there yeah, macros? Macros, and then yeah, scroll to the bottom, it, and there's Parmalat. Nope. Oh, come on. Wow, I try it. Come on. Hey. There we go. Yeah, rolled weird. Uh, so, so it's saying silver form. But yeah. <laughs> Okay. Try and roll again. I, I, roll I, I, I did roll it once uh, to try. It. You so know what? I, I don't think I did this table right. Listen, just roll. Just roll a D one hundred. Mm. Twenty five or lower, and you get uh, and you get a sorry. Four. Okay. Oh, all right. Let's go. <laughs> a sorry time. All right. So as you all are working uh, on your stuff, you see that Edgar's a sorry form uh, comes into play. Sorry, just a second. Fixing up the token. Okay. And one of those crimson rights was on my unarmed strike. Okay. All right. And then I'll pop this anchor into the GM layer. And there we go. Well. All right. Can go. So, uh, how, how are you all approaching? What's your marching order? Um, T in the back. Before we enter as well, as Tauros watches his skin quite literally fall off, he'll pump himself up and he's going to activate his transformation to fiendish devil form. Devil Trigger. Yeah, Absolutely. Oh, my Devil Trigger. Devil Trigger. All right. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a token of, of Tauros' yeah. fancy. We'll set that up at a later date. Yes. <laughs> um, all right. Tauros is just big. He's just big. Big bold. All right. Are you all uh, so? Uh, so marching order is as this going in. Uh, uh, I, I think Essa and T may want to be behind Woon because Woon yeah. is going to get in there. Oh, so. Essa, how Essa, how big was the corridor? Is it wooden space? Uh, it it was stone, right? Because it had the etching. It's still all stone. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, but it did it open up decently from what you saw. Yes, it, it the chamber up. itself, yeah, it opened. It'll, up. It'll Perfect. Open it. It'll Perfect. Open there the are stone how pillars big? in the chamber that you gotcha. will have to navigate around. But how tall is the? Can I tell how tall the chamber was with the view I got? The chamber goes up to. Um, it goes up to ten feet in height, so there's enough okay. room. Ten feet. Uh, sorry, no, it goes up to to twenty feet in height. Uh, in the, in the chamber, it it gets carved out into a big open space. Gotcha. He goes. It's about well, it's a decently what decently open chamber, twenty feet up, or goes up twenty feet. Gotcha. That helps you at all. All right. And E, Boros, and Edgar will charge in first. Yeah. I'm gonna big bony hand. We'll hit a gun. Are we attempting to surprise it? Or do we want to talk to it? It's just standing there. It's not moving at all. It's, it's as still as a statue, but I can tell it's alive. We could attempt to be ready should worse come to worse. All right. You all march forward. Uh, so I think you, we said it was Edgar, Oberon, and Tauros all moving forward at the same time. Is uh, Oberon, are you mounted on Woon right now? Uh, right now, no. I was going to leave a uh, Woon behind to act as kind of like a barrier between the squishies and uh, mm -hmm. this guy for right now. Okay, so I will will move Woon up into this corner. You all move up here. Yep. And just move us to where this thing starts to notice us. Yeah. So this thing has a passive perception of 20. 
Uh, so oh, wow. <laughs> oh, yeah, we are freaking uh, yeah, that's an, I'm glad that, that was, funny happened. Uh, you know, that's it's because Hessa rolled so freaking high on his on his stealth that he didn't get noticed. It'd have been amazing nice. if he nice. just turns and was like, "I see you." Uh, yeah. not again. I will say, I think. Oberon, you are able to see it from this distance with your superior yes, dark vision. I, I've been able to see it since I was, like, right here. <laughs> okay. So, as you all are approaching, um, the three of you get up to, like, right in front of the chamber here. It's gonna move. Okay. With this, the audience can just see a piece of it. Um, you all see... What appears to be, like I said, a dwarven man that is sewn to this horse. It's not, this is not a natural centaur. Uh, immediately upon seeing him, Oberon and as Edgar, I need a history check from both of you with advantage. No. I thought no. it. I thought it. No. I thought it. Uh, no. Oh, I think about. I think I just got it. No, fuck. We both rolled bad. You both rolled high enough. Oh, fuck you, you both know I, I this person you, very well. You both know this person very, very well. It did not take a high history check because this, upon looking at him, you recognize the description. Of the man that inspired the two of you to become adventurers. Mm -hmm. Radimus Rex. The hero of the Empire. Who, near, who, who was the key adventurer who managed to help fend off the invasion by the Amenti uh, hegemony uh, centuries ago. Uh, the one for whom... His exploits put adventuring on the map. Uh, uh, the Academy had already been founded before his uh, time as an adventurer, but after he uh, uh, played that major part in that war, that's when adventurers started becoming a more common trade, more common practice within the Empire. And as you see him sewn into the body of a horse you can't help but think that this is also his horse that he's no. been forcibly joined with. Oh my god! Uh, who is the namesake of our good fluffy boy, Woon. Oh! oh hey, yeah. uh, it's been nice. It's been nice. <laughs> okay. oh. uh, he just turned around and Nay, I out. say. Nay. <laughs> <laughs> He said it. He said it. He did it, boys. He did it. He said it. Burr. Uh, so, so over on Edgar, just go fuck this shit up. Man. No, no, no. I think there was a oh. noticeable oh. slump of shoulders from both over on Edgar and a, a sorry bones just sadly oh, trudged out. Over on looks like horrified, mm -hmm. and he just like, before like. Anybody close to him, so like Edgar and Taurus can just hear him like mutter under his breath, like, What the fuck? As you all get to right at the entrance of this chamber, the uh, former Radimus Rex, who was again standing stock still until you all got to this entrance, suddenly. Uh, like shifts his attention to the entrance way, aims his uh uh jab uh, not javelin uh lance, lance at you and says, "Halt! You are violating Empire space. Return or be destroyed." Oberon's gonna like gently put a hand on Taurus's shoulder, like s switch switch spots mm -hmm. with me real mm -hmm. quick. Yep. Uh, so, so I'm just gonna move where Tauros is. Yep, uh, I'm moving back. Um, Oberon's go. just gonna. Oberon's like stunned for a second, but just <clears throat> this is, and he like he starts for a second, but this is Oberon, Perseus, Maximus, Germanius, Cornelius, Alexander, Claudius the second. 
I'm here on ex exclusively on Empire on Empire mission. Identify yourself. All right. Uh, no need for a persuasion check. As the creature formerly Radimus just levels that keeps that javelin, not javelin, I keep saying javelin, Lance, Lance, Lance. pointed yeah. now directly at you, Oberon, and says, Return or be destroyed. Oberon just. What? We are here on official empire business. It like kind of <laughs> like you see its head start to shake as it keeps its lance trained steady on you, and then says, Can't... "Sorry, go ahead." Can I roll an insight check just to like see like what is generally like happening here? Like what absolutely, give me an insight check. Mm -hmm. oh, I would like to do the same. Nope. That's a four. Ooh, that, uh, that shouldn't have had advantage, but it doesn't matter. All right. So with a 24 insight, you're looking into this person. Like, this is Radimus Rex. Like, he was supposed to have died, you know, centuries ago. Yeah, like uh, 10 years ago. Uh, But he looks, you know, not really alive considering his current condition, but, you know, that's him. And as you're, like, trying to connect to him, trying to speak to him, he, you see there's no soul within this thing. It's, or if there is soul within it, there's no way of connecting to him. This is no longer a living person. This is a tool, a weapon created by the Empire. And then as it aims its lance at you again, its head finishes twitching and then says, Uh, um, and then says, uh, if you are here on business provided by the Empress, give the passphrase. Oh, fuck. Yes. Yes. Over on right. guess. Right. Right. There, so, so, and feel free to tell me if this is bullshit or not. In all the public and all the meetings that Oberon's been in and all the lessons about nobility or anything, Given his grandfather, is there any like important phrase or like key phrase that he knows his grandfather uses or anything like that? Like, you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. trying to see if there's like any like if he's in the history books, if there's like a quote that he has that's repeated like in greater frequencies or anything associated with Radimus Rex and his grandfather. Give me, or, give me a history check, just a flat history check. Oh boy, and now would be a real good time for that in that 20. What's 16? 16 oh, is oh. not enough. You you, you oh. there your father you don't remember hearing your grandfather ever really talk about Radimus. That was he was an adventurer, he was someone below his station. Like maybe he might have had meetings talking about Radimus, but you wouldn't have been present for any of those. Uh, I'm guessing the DC was probably like 20 something. The DC was 30. Oh, cool. So, so okay. even with a nat 20, I wouldn't have gotten it. Probably not. I might have given you a little hint on a nat 20. Like some, yeah, but no, I, that's fair. I was asking for bullshit. That's all right. I it's, it's, for. this is not something any of you would know. You, no one yeah. has enough in with the Empire to be able to know this passphrase. Yeah. Uh, um, oh, come on. Sorry, go, go ahead. ahead. Sorry. No, he was doing something before I did this. No, so as you're like stammering, stuttering, trying to come up with desperately racking your brain for what could be the passphrase, uh, the Radimus uh, just simply keeps the Lance trained and says, very well, you are not here on Empire business. If you were to enter here, you would meet your death. I think that's well, where we have to roll initiative. Yeah. No. Uh, 
Oh. There we go. There's a nat 20. Nah. Oh, there's a, there's a one. Oh. Oh. Okay. 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 That's good. That's good. Rabbit yeah. is holding that one. Guys, yeah. We're about to kill one of the Radimus Empire's Ultra. very fancy toys uh, out here. I saw you dwarf. ready to kill your childhood hero? I saw a dwarf and a horse, and I literally had typed up to AJ, man, wouldn't this be hilarious if this was Radimus? <laughs> I was, in my, like, by the time I got back, I was like, huh. I was like, I was just thinking, like, hmm. Why does why does Jack seem super excited to have Oberon and Edgar excited to see to see this? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> so, so I, Trace said it, but I figured it out. How many people forgot that Wound was named after the horse? I don't know if I knew that. I've uh, you oh, know he God. said it. I think at the early, it was really. Early. I've it might have heard first episode. Really in the first yeah. like few episodes. Yeah. yeah. I very vaguely uh, remember that. Uh, I, 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 I looked my dark the vision. Edge. My dark vision is not on this token, so I can't see. Oh my bad, my bad. As well, I loved how almost had the same reaction when really it was his horse. We're just like, oh. oh, it's so funny. It's so fucked up, but it's so funny. Uh, did Kilzer and Telekaroth roll initiative? Oh yes, Dancing. sorry. Oh, he got out of. He left. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone, he man. Us. I told you. He saw the horse thing and he went, fuck this shit. I'm Y'all out. rolled some dog shit on initiative. What's going on here? Uh, <laughs> what do you mean? I have a minus one, Jack. I don't know what you're expecting. <laughs> All right. Uh, Thanks considering I was positive. Edgar. All right. There isn't rage coming out of Edgar right now. There is an acceptance that someone fucked with this hero. Someone decided this is how you celebrate one of the most, the only people that he likes from Empire history. And he just rushes up and he's going to get back here. Okay. And with his bare bony hands is going to take three hits at this guy. All right. Uh, also, don't forget, uh, I know that probably didn't matter, but because we started our turns within five feet of Taurus, yeah. we got yeah, yeah, yep. Mm -hmm. yep. 13, gonna miss, I'm assuming. No, 13 <laughs> does not hit. 11 does not hit either. Uh, uh, 12, uh, 12 also misses. <laughs> he's already, <laughs> he's already even good enough for you guys to guess the AC. It's you just... <laughs> <laughs> listen, just, um, listen, Edgar's uh, really shaken right now. He's he's really right. Edgar <laughs> has yeah. no reason to not like to be Edgar's missing. Edgar's will is just broken right now. He's already <laughs> been having a buck wild day, and now he has to what, kill his childhood hero. I wonder what will break first: your will to fight or your will to live? Uh, his, his bones. bones. His bones. Oh, will break. Fuck All you, right, let's go. Any anything else <laughs> from Edgar? Nope, that was my action and my bonus action. All right, at the end of your turn, uh, oh, shit. <laughs> here it comes. Uh, oh, Rex is going to is gonna make an attack with Rex's lance. It's a, okay, this is a thirty-one hits. hit. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! All right, for <laughs> thirty-one psychic, for thirty-one right. combined damage. Oh, you have to have that, so that's that, twenty damage. That was almost a crit. Oh my god. Oh, uh, that was one away from being a crit. On the yeah, so I'm hiding time. behind our wound. Guys, we're fucked. I am a. Hey, I... hey, do you guys want the ointment? <laughs> hey, dude, just. <laughs> can we have Baldur's Gate rules? Can you just chuck it at me and it breaks? Yeah. <laughs> can we reload the save? <laughs> Uh, okay, Jack, I don't, I don't care how big the room is. I cast fireball. <laughs> All right, I asked how big the room was. Um, also, Jack, Jack, if you don't mind me asking, where's the uh, light, the rainbow light? Yes, sorry. Uh, let me draw that here, in. Right? No, it was in the back of the room. Uh, oh, okay, so okay. I was just, I was wanting to just ask, just because, because. Well, that's not the color I was trying to go for. Let me undo that. Oh. AJ, AJ, you know if you combined all three of your rolls, you almost still rolled lower than what he did on one attack roll? <laughs> Thanks, Trey. That was almost, again, that was almost a crit. That was a 19 on the dice. So it's I back rolled a here. two, a three, and a four. Yeah, it's back here, the uh, uh, swirling vortex. Swirling, yeah. Okay. 
Got All right. Tape. Let's try to let's try to hit this guy. Big deeper man, go. Get Twenty-three. Hit. Hit. Twenty-three. Oh my god. Um, case. Try to see if you can crit. Yeah, all right, also, right. Sorry, I was, looking, I was looking at my spells and see how many smites I have left. Uh, yeah, let me don't forget. See. Also, don't forget you get your channel of Andy Nine. back. Yes, break. my my harness divine power. Oh, my and your did my channels come yeah. back? I don't oh yeah, it did. It did. It did. Did Paladin's regain channel channel divinity? My, I mean, it gave me mine back. A short so. rest. On okay. a short rest. All Paladin's right. regain channel divinities. Um, and you're in your form, so you do the extra damage. Yep. 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 All right, roll the, uh, roll so the damage. Anyways, yep, I'm just going to roll the damage for that one. For 13. Okay. And then... Plus, plus oh. 7, plus 7 fire damage. Plus 7. And then I'm that, going Oh, that to, health bar ain't moving that much. Yeah, I'm going to try to hit him cool. again. Uh, wow, oh boy, does a 14 oh, hit? Uh, We're getting closer. Four, We're going up. We're doing great. 14 does not Trey, hit. get in here. All Join right, guys, the clusterfuck. Get a 15 and a 16. Come on. Hey, T, you might have to start campaign too early. <laughs> Just like, you know. Yeah. I told you all there was a real chance of someone it. dying in and this game. And kills Rent Lekaroff. Yeah, it's the four of us with y'all's backup characters. All right, anything else? Goldie. Anything else from Tauros? That's his turn. All right, T. Hi. For the love of gravy, I hope I can actually do something because we're useless. Um, what what third level spells do you have? Uh, third level spells? I feel like that was a leading question. I have Dispel, Haste, and Fireball. Haste on the three of them. I think you can do. I uh, think you may can only do two of them, but that would be really good. Okay, so you can only haste one person. Oh, yeah, because it's, it's concentration. Yeah. I think it's, it's concentration. I, I, I Unless she had twinned, people. but yeah. yeah, yeah, I don't have twin spell. Um. Does twin spell work on a concentration? Can, yeah, I was just spell? say, can you? Yes. Yep. Yeah. As long as it targets one person, it targets okay. one creature, and you can yeah. bring it. But then, if you lose concentration, both both of them. Yeah. So you're yeah. double fucked. Hey guys, you know something great? Magic missile doesn't require you to roll. That is true. <laughs> so I'm just gonna hit him with magic missile. That's uh, right. What um, level of magic missile are you using? Just oh, no. the first. Okay. Um. Um. I don't like that, that he's asking what level of spells are you casting. Yeah. No, I don't love that. It makes me think that this, he might have some immunity to the lower level magics. Oh, I thought maybe he was just well, making sure. That's 10 total damage. He was just trying to help. No, yeah, I was just making sure that we were keeping okay. track of spell slots. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. I, thought, I thought you were like, oh, he's immune to first level spells. <laughs> no, I wouldn't throw that in. You guys aren't even level 10 yet. <laughs> Uh, who, who, who would ever throw something like that at you guys? I don't you? know, <laughs> Trey. I wonder fucking who. All right. Well, he that is his health bar after taking off an additional ten. Uh, so, uh, Jack, I don't think you did it. I don't. I don't think you took it off. Nope, I don't think so either. Take another ten, real quick, just to make sure. <laughs> Take just another ten, real quick, so that we can show us. <laughs> uh -huh. Don't Actually, worry about putting I, it back on. We'll remember. Any movement from T? Um, I think I'm kind of trapped behind wounds, so I'm just going to give Kilzy a little scritch behind the ear, and that's my turn. All right, it's Kilzy's turn. It's absolutely useless. Pain. What is Kilzy going to do? Fuck you. Hey, 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 listen, listen. Have him prove me wrong, and then we'll talk. You, he brought you back to life against the Hornets. Oh, no, Who yeah. wants to use Kilzy as their yeah, no, no, character? No. Oh, Oberon never. Zach, do you want Kilzy as your backup character? Well, you are hurt. Kelsey. Hurt pretty uh, fucking he, bad by he the He brought Hornets. me back to life because yeah, I was. Uh, he made the mess. But healing. you got you got wrecked by them too, and Kilzy healed you. All right. I didn't ask for it. Kilzy's flying <laughs> up. Can Kilzy take the heels back from Oberon? <laughs> Just to no. Uh, so there's going to be a sacred flame. Uh, okay. Only rolled four damage. Uh, Radimus makes a dex save. How dexterous he is. Little centaur. He's got to be decently dexterous. Yeah, he's got to be fucking decently. I mean, he is I know he's strong, and he's strong. Oh, he failed. Oh. Just failed. He only has a plus he's three. Decent. He's pretty good. Only a plus three. Only. 
right. I mean, he has a plus 12 to hit us. It could have been a lot worse. All right, so he takes four yeah. radiant damage, and then Kilsey will use his multi-attack to try to attack him with sacred words. Does not hit. Uh, that's Kilsey's movement and action. Does not have a bonus action because all of his healing words are done. Yeah. So, Essa. All right. Uh, well, fuck, I got a big old dog in my way. You can move through an ally space. Yeah, but... you can move okay. through. You can't. Uh, yeah, we were saying we couldn't attack through him earlier well, because yeah, yeah. he was so big. Right, right, right. I couldn't shoot around him, but I can yeah. right. so, so, yeah, check so out you can move through him and then like skirt around. Yeah, him. you just okay. can't end your turn on his space. So let's see. So it's, it does it. Is it like difficult terrain to move around him? No, no. Okay, right, 10, 15, 20, 25. Uh, and then I'm gonna take. Uh, does he know I'm here? He, you were hiding you're in combat now you would have to roll another stealth yeah. check I, I i would assume that you were sneaking on your way over yeah. so i can yeah 21 stealth okay yeah you beat his passive it's perception just, yeah, just 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 thank needs you it. I, I just wanted to ask just to be sure because yes. i didn't know if that would have fallen off yeah so now you do have advantage on this attack 24 24 hits Push. For tw- uh, oh. but this is a non-magical bow, so I don't know if that affects the damage. From so the he only oh. takes he only takes seventeen uh, damage. Okay, so he's uh, no. Damage. Sorry, with the sneak count we, as yeah, it's okay. weapon damage. Pitch he only takes eleven. Damage. Yeah. Ah, fuck. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, any any non-magical. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's terrifying. Applies to stuff like rage to like rage mm-hmm. damage is just extra weapon damage. Gotcha. Ah, gotcha. 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 Oh. Wow. Any further movement? Bonus action. Cunning bonus action. action da- bonus action dash. We're gonna move back away because <laughs> I don't want. I don't. I don't want him coming near me. All right. At the end of your turn, uh, Radimus will make another legendary action, uh, and swing his lance at Tauros. All righty, that that hits. For 39 damage. Oh, oh, guys. Well, that's really bad. I can't. What? What's your AC? Just so I know. Mine's 17. Okay. Yeah, you I would need to roll a 4 or guys, lower than this year. I am at 11 health. <laughs> I am at just 11 run to this, run, We might have just have to run to that thing and hope to God it teleports us. I mean, if you want to jump into the Which other God. world, you can. If you want to jump into the other world, you can do that. Uh, <laughs> oh, I mean, we'll probably die faster. At least I, I legit do not think I can take. I can't. Well, no, I can't take another one of those hits. That it's, will kill me. It is now Radimus's turn. Bye, Thomas. <laughs> See you guys. So good on that damage. My he goodness. rolled so. To be fair, he rolled a ten and a twelve on his damage. Yes, mm-hmm. and then the six and the four on two d sixes. So all right. damn near max on all that. Missed out on four total oh. damage out of like thirty-four. <laughs> okay. Uh so if you may want to do that. That's my he that's is going to Ooh, plus twelve. Uh as a bonus action. All creatures within a 20-foot cone of him, and he is facing Tauros right now. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Cones being used against us. So facing Tauros. Uh, so that Just is a Tauros, Kilzy, oh. and Oberon. Uh, oh. I need all of you to make a wisdom saving throw. Uh-oh. Is this a charm or fear effect? This yeah. is a fear effect. Twelve. Hey, Tony. Kelsey. Come on, Kelsey. Oh yes. Break, break your fear of this thing. Yeah. Uh, let's go, Kelsey. Okay. Uh. So you all, I'm just going to roll a four d eight real quick. Taurus, oh, have no. my oh, 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 uh, fuck. So his Devour Hope ability uh, deals 4d8 yeah. psychic damage 
Everyone who failed uh, takes the full damage. Uh, everyone who succeeded only takes half, so we'll uh, take that down to uh, 11, because I do believe we are rounding up on damage in it this would, campaign. Wouldn't it be 10, then? 10. Oh, 10, my apologies. Yes, 10. Uh, uh, so 10 damage on successes. Also on successes, you do not become frightened. I don't well, become, I don't, be, I don't become that. frightened! Yeah. Let's right. go! I will say, Taurus, your, your altered form is does not end. It's, uh, Okay. It's a. It's not something you're concentrating on, so it keeps yeah. going. Okay. Uh, so that was his bonus action. Um, God damn it! Now that is a recharge six. So okay. So yeah, he has to be very lucky. All right. Considering uh, his roll so far, he is going to <laughs> then uh, again. He is going to scream out. A wail of pain. Uh, all creatures what? within 20 feet. No! Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I need another wisdom save. Uh, oh, Tauros, don't, you don't, you don't automatically one. fail this as, as you're unconscious. Is this fear? I don't, is it charm? Or just... This is not a charm or fear effect. Cool. This okay. is... All right. 17? Ooh. 17 passes. Yes. Ooh, okay. For me. Thirteen does not pass. Kills these. Uh, Twenty-three, 23. passes. Yeah, Alright, yeah, everyone yeah. who passed, you're good. You take no damage. Uh okay. uh people who don't pass, you take seventeen psychic damage. Wow. Does that go to me? So that would go to you. Let me double check. I don't know if you Automatically fail wisdom saves by being unconscious. Just a, something I want to double check. You only automatically fail strength and dexterity saving throws when you're unconscious. Okay. So you can still make your wisdom save. But you don't get paladin aura because paladin aura only works. It's only up when I'm up. So it's a, only a 12 then, but I don't think a 14 would matter anyways. Uh, no. Uh, so, yeah, so you and will take a death save failure uh, because oh, of that. Right. Ooh. That's, uh, uh, this is... And then Radimus is going to... He's got... uh, that's, that's, that's all he can do. That was his bonus action, oh, and it's an action to use Whale of Pain. Oh! I was like, and, and they're like, he goes for a Wh full round of attacks at Oberon. Whale of Pain is not part of his multi-attack. Uh, now it's a lair action. <laughs> okay. That is okay. it for Radimus. Oberon. Cool. Um. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to start off big here. Um. Just gonna move up. Uh. Can I like almost like as I run up, grab Tauros's like body and like kind of just like move it like off to the side of Kilzer and Lekaroth as part of can I sacrifice like. 10 feet of movement. You can make a shove that. action to push him unless you're dragging him. If you're dragging him, like, if you're dragging him just... over there, I would say that would be an interact with object. Okay, then I'll drag him over right next to Killsey. Okay. Take his spot right here. Um, and then I'm just gonna turn, get him up, and then like still feeling that same rage, like the veins again just pop out and the grip tightens on the hammer as he just grits his teeth looking at what happened to his hero. And I'm going to, can I use an action to drink a potion? Uh, yes, you can. Okay. Um, cool. Then I'm going to use an action to, uh, because I just took a lot of damage, uh, I'm going to drink my superior healing potion. Okay. Uh, so that's uh, 8d4 plus 8. Yeah, 8d4. I think so. Mm -hmm. It's 26. Not terrible. Uh, uh, not great. Uh, my rolls were pretty ass, actually. <laughs> I mean, it brings you up to almost max, though. Yeah, that brings me back up. I'm only down 4. Um, and then uh, action surge. Mm -hmm. Are you going to be calling Woon in? Yes, I will, but he acts at the end of my turn. Gotcha, gotcha, my bad. So, uh, action surge, and then uh, hefty hammer. Okay, yeah, swing it. 22 Ooh. hits? 
uh, I would like him to make a strength save as like I'm just going to pump as much force into the hammer, like trying to connect right with his chest. Fuck! Ah, yeah. God, he has a plus ten. <laughs> yeah, I know, but that just means it was close. Um, let me let me add the damage. Let me roll damage real quick. Yep, that's a. If you're dual, if you're using both hands, that's a D10 plus a D6. It, I'm not. I have a shield okay. and the and the hammer, so that's uh 14 points mm-hmm. of damage. Not bad. This, even though it is not a plus one weapon, it does. It is a magical weapon to overcome resistance. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't have used it if it wasn't, but I have it. I have it set up for that. Um, and then uh, I would like to unwaver and mark him. Okay. And then a uh, second attack with the hefty hammer. Okay. An eighteen misses. Oh. 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 Okay. 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 Yeah. okay. Okay. So as you're we looking him you over, seven. you see that the armor that he's wearing. It is reminiscent of his armor that he was known for. However, like his lance and like the horse, you see that it's like stitched into his body. He's been fused the armor into his body. Okay. And then after my turn, um, uh, um, cool. Yeah. Wound is then going to run and because he moves a um uh because he is going to use like use his movement and then make a long jump up to Radimus right here Mm -hmm. um he is going to uh make this a pounce attack absolutely um so bite bam 18 misses (gasps) All right, second attack. 25 does hit for 9 piercing damage. I uh, okay. halved to 5. Does one have um, advantage? Wait, uh, would he... If he was right here, would he get flanking with Edgar? Because of his size? Uh, I'd say because of his size, yes. Okay, okay. If not, that's fine. No, yeah, he um, he he gets it so because of his. Size. He's going to take half that, so five yep. five damage, and he is then going to. Oh, that's it. If that had been one higher, that would have been critical for wound. Um, oh, he needs to make a uh, strength save. Be knocked prone. Okay. He just needs a four on the die. Oh. So yeah. Yeah. Um, cool. I mean, if that happened, Wound Cove attacked again. But, uh, yeah, no, that's going to be, uh, Wound's turn. Okay. Uh, back to Edgar. Cool. We're pulling out Firebrand, which I used my other Crimson Ray on, and we're gonna take two swings first. Okay. Advantage. Please, on, AJ. for the love of God. 19? 19 hits. Okay. okay. That was, that was that was one. Uh, that was I thought it was gonna be 17. Uh, 25. So first attack. There we go. Nice. Second go. attack. Come on, baby. 18, 18 misses. All right. Uh, bonus action. I'm going to. What do we want to do? What do we want to do? We're going to. Yeah, we're just going to displace. Okay. Mark's but what right. I want to do while this is happening, seeing how tense everything is, and I'm close. To what I believe is the point of coalescence. I want to start in this form quietly chanting the prayer that my mom has shared with me. Mm -hmm. Just trying to get whatever I can connected to the point of coalescence while we're fighting. Gotcha. Uh, At the end of your turn, Radimus is going to uh, make an attack against you. Mm-hmm. Uh, so he will have disadvantage because of unwavering mark, I believe. Is that right? Yep. Yes. Okay. Oh, nope. That was just a description of the <laughs> legendary oh, action. Oh, no. He attacks. I'm going to uh, use my reaction to Blood Curse of the Eyeless, so it's going to miss no matter what. What's the... And I would... Okay, so because your armor class is... 
21 now. Because the, okay. the story form is 20. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now Perfect. I'm going to use my reaction from Sentinel to make an attack. Yes, you do. 14 doesn't read his armor class. <sighs> and that I'm was going awesome. to, I'm amplifying this, so he's going to lose a d6 on all of his attacks until the end of his next turn. Okay. It's such a good one to use on Legendary. Oh, AJ. Hey, 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 Why can't uh, you only run through it? Oh, when it AJ, you? Uh, uh, Edgar, I will need a con concentration saving throw. Uh, on the chanting that I'm doing? Yep. Gotcha. Okay. Hello? Yep, because uh, you took six damage, so the DC was ten, so you're good. Got it, got it. Okay. AJ, stop rolling shield on Aiden. It's not hurting yourself. Don't tell me what to do. All right. I will. All right. Uh, you may so, be like 100 yeah. years older than me, but I'll tell you what to do. So, Edgar, you are like desperately beginning to, seeing that you have the point of coalescence right here, begin reaching out for some divine intervention, <laughs> seeing the force that you are up against. Uh, all right. Okay. Uh, Tauros, I need a death save, buddy. Could be dead. Uh, could be dead. Just roll a d twenty and then DM yep. me. I'm gonna. Yeah, I was. I'm. I'm I got the Tauros dice. Mm -hmm. We're going for it, baby. At one. At 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 one. one. If it's a nat one, Tauros dies. Yeah. To that one, he's dead. We did it. All right, DM it's me what you got. Is it a twenty? If, if if it's a fucking twenty, <laughs> Tauros it. This is either a 20 or a 1, and he's not crying, so I think it's a 20. Okay. Oh, it's a 1. He's, 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 really, like he's a really teasing me with this. Like a <laughs> it's like a he's... Okay, so, on Tauros' turn, Tauros, <sighs> you see this really difficult monster facing off against you. You can see the anguish in the faces of your companions, as you were going down, you know that this is so important. And whatever doubts that you have about your order, about your paladin self, like they scream out at you. But on a nat 20, fuck yeah, you feel a surge in you, a feeling of, I can't let this end here. And you get up. And get to take your turn at one hit point. Yeah. My hands were so sweaty. <laughs> These <laughs> hands were so heavy. Granted, I saw it roll on Lost the 15 again. first, so I was like, okay, I'm going to be okay. Then it like, it, ding, ding, it ran on the 20. I was like, oh. <laughs> so uh, we're going to drink a really big potion. Like, you can do that as a bonus action, yes. I'm going to just. You will still have to spend half your speed to get up from prone. I'm cool with that. Because of your paladin thing, you have 40 naturally. So. Yeah. Uh, what's a what's a greater healing potion? 4d4 four 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 plus 4. Plus four. Yep. It only has all the potions memorized. Maybe, that's a good thing. Ooh, buddy. that's not bad. That's oh, that's solid. really 15, good. so you are up to 16 hit points now. Yeah, it's not, you... not going to keep me alive. Oh, But it might keep it from being overkilled at some point. There's plenty of other... Big boys around now. Hopefully, yeah. he doesn't target you. All right. If you need healing, I can try to run in as quick as we're I can. Going, we're going to gamble this. We're going for hits. Mm -hmm. oh I will say, from where you are standing right now, you do not get advantage. But if you move over one space, you'll one be getting step. flanking because of wound. This one, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just all the oh, big hitters just surrounding on, baby. the fucker. We're going for big. Oh my oh god! My god. <laughs> That's just the first attack. That's just the That's first just attack. One. Second attack. There oh, we go. Man. There we go. We're That's gonna it. smite. Kick him in the knees. Kick him in the knees. We're gonna grab his dick and twist it. <laughs> <laughs> This is God, dude. This is the place of God. <laughs> That's uh, 13. Oh, God, we died out here. Damage plus all three. Plus seven fire damage. So 20, yeah, 20 so far. Plus seven. Plus 17 Ooh. from the smite. Ooh. And was this just oh a divine smite or did you? No, because you, gonna... you used your bonus action for the potion. So yeah. it has to be a divine smite. Yep. But you get to roll 2d8 plus 7 and give out those temp hit points. 
Right, right, with my harness. I can use my harness, which I'll consume. Let me just mark it you down. Mean your tail to Bandy. Or, yeah, not harness. Yeah. I, mean, I, you might, you might want to use that on yourself. <laughs> you guys aren't getting this. I'm sorry. That's fair. <laughs> okay. No, that's fair. Well, no, <laughs> <Come on. man. laughs> How dare you? All right. You still have uh, 15 level, okay. food of movement uh, if you want to take it. Otherwise, uh, that'll be the end of your turn. Uh, oh boy, 13. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay right there because I don't hey, want to get Now you may actually live one hit. Maybe. I'm, no, I, well, I want to be so sure. That's only uh, oh God, all together. What is that? 20... No, you have 29. 29. 29, yeah. All right. So, uh, at the end of your turn, Tauros, uh, Radimus is going to make another attack against Edgar. <laughs> uh, so this is still a disadvantage <laughs> and a minus d6 uh, to the attack yeah, roll. Cool. Um, Yep, or man. he needs as to get over. As, he he as long as we're he... good. We're okay, good. yeah. No misses. He misses. That was a smart you... call, AJ. All right, you do not uh, have to make a con save on your prayer. Uh, okay. Uh, at the so Taurus's turn is over. T. Hi. Um, this shit is terrifying, and my friends are dying in front of me. Only one. So, that's... <laughs> <laughs> the rest of y'all ain't that far behind. Or at least not far enough behind to make me feel comfy with it. Um, I... Ooh, I could upcast. Upcasting is something I forget about a lot, but I shouldn't, because it's extremely useful. Um, upcast magic missile. Hell yeah. No. Um... He's just gonna I'm actually going to do... For real, for real. Is, for does this upcast the, up the damage? Okay, uh, no, what, it ups the um, amount of... Okay. Scorching. Yeah, I'm going to do a fourth level Scorching Ray. Ooh. Okay. So that's uh, four attack that's rolls? Five. Uh, that's, no, five. Five, five attack three, rolls. Five, five, yeah. for second level five four, attack three, rolls. Four. Okay. Please, for the love of everything... One, <laughs> two, One three, hits, two hits. four, okay. three, five. Oh, All right. Two, two, hits. Hits. Two, two, two hits, one crit. Let's see it. Fuck yes. Woo! Woo! Ten. And that meaty Seven. crit. Ooh. 19, oh, nice. not bad. Plus, that, 19 plus 17, that's... That's 29, 36, 36. points of damage. Oh, 36 fire, fire damage. You call forth uh, massive... Like tendrils of fire, all of them lash out against him. Uh, two of them, one of them just goes fucking wide and like disappears yeah. into the p- point of coalescence. Uh, the other one That's probably smashes fine. against one of the pillars. Uh, the other two, and the final one, the final one hits the crystal growing out of his back and shatters it to Ooh. pieces. Ooh. And as you all observe him, his body begins to. Oh, has another phase. Uh, and uh, you see, it almost looks like his skin is like like I described his skin as kind of like falling loose off of his body before. Now it's almost starting to like really stretch out. It's almost like it's melting as his body seems to be coming unstable uh Kilsey's turn Kilsey yeah Kilsey is going to you know what this worked fairly well attempt another sacred flame for eight damage I should not have had disadvantage, so he passes, does not take any damage. Kilsey will attempt suck. another sacred words. Miss again. Uh, Kilsey will then back up. Little does he know he backed out of opportunity attack. Shoot. Oh, bam. Oh, pow. That was a 50 hit. Uh, <laughs> Kitty! So he would have exited his reach. However, oh. Kilsey has the nimble escape ability and oh, uh, disengages. Ah, that little slimy little man. <laughs> just, 
He just slid on his tummy out of there, like. <laughs> <laughs> Essa. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Ooh. Mitchell, if you could crit. Yeah, my, if you could crit right now. I, do I want to get close so I don't have the damage resist anymore, or do I want to stay far away where I, I know I won't die? You, you can you, disengage. You, hey, you can, I, I, he's already used dash. his full. He's dash. already used his full movement just oh, to get there. Gotcha. I would have to bonus action dash to get right. close. Yeah, just then, crit. Like, just crit. Crit. That's all you gotta do. Just crit. Just crit. Just crit. True. Alice did it. Yeah. I did. After she nat one. Nope. <laughs> Get good scrub. Oh, short Mitchell, bonus halfway there. Kill issue. Halfway there. All right. Uh, oh, uh, bonus action from Essa. Uh, I'll I'll bonus action. Yeah, I'll dash again in the room. So I will actually hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Let me make sure. Let's see if I don't pass it in his attack range because I don't want to die. That's a cone. <laughs> That's a cone. Oh god damn it, anywhere I go, I'm kind of actually if I just stay around the wall. As long as you don't exit his threatened area. If he you hug the corner him. right here, you're After good. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty. Oh yeah, twenty-five. Yeah, I'll get right here behind one. Okay. All right. It's Radimus's turn. So as I said, Radimus's body is becoming to destabilize. You all see like his the crystals on his arms resonate and then shatter as well and his body becomes this almost amorphous like roiling boiling vat of flesh pouring from the horse uh and he has entered his destabilization phase oh no in ah. there uh <laughs> Don't worry about anything. I'm just going to roll two d10s right now. That's uh, probably fine. All right, Radimus heals for nine hit points. That that sounds yeah. pretty stable. Uh, if he was unstable, he should lose nine hit points. Really, that's true. You guys want to keep? You guys want to keep doing this? No, I'm no. not saying nope. nothing. No sir. No sir. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll, I'll pack it on. Okay. Um. Don't you dare. <laughs> uh, doesn't he need to recharge? Okay. Uh, he is he going to... He does need to roll for recharge. Roll for recharge. Oh, yes. Does not recharge. I think that balances out the shit talking, right? <laughs> um, he just exclusively goes for T. Just ignores everybody. God <laughs> damn it. So, first, he's going to make a pseudopod attack against Oberon. Uh, Woon is going fine. to use his reaction to impose disadvantage. Okay. Beautiful. That 14 with a I minus 6 as on. well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Heck yes. Uh, then there's another pseudopod attack going against you. Uh, now, I don't no. think this gets disadvantage. Now. No, no, no. This one does not. Only oh a 14. But it don't matter. Uh, so only a 10. And then he's going to make a third pseudopod attack against oh, Oberon. Oh, boy. That's a lot. Okay. 24, 21. It doesn't matter what you roll. It don't matter what you roll. <laughs> All right. So that is 23 combined damage, and I need a strength saving uh, throw. I have the bludgeoning, bludgeoning because I am raging. So that's minus 13, and I have advantage uh, on it because I am raging. raging. Okay. And because Taurus is within... In feet of me, I get his paladin or so yeah, sure do. So that's Ooh, 22. Good thing you Dang have the advantage. Yeah. All right, so you avoid, even though like this amorphous blob of an arm is slamming against you, you don't feel it grab hold of your body. Interesting. Cool. Um, Oberon's turn. Um, yeah, Oberon's just like. Upon like getting hit but managing to power his way through, he's just like so frustrated. Um, he's gonna bonus action second wind right here. Thirteen hit points. So, okay. Um, Fuck yeah. Exactly what I got hit with. <laughs> so, um, and then just roaring. Just what happened to you each time the hammers like 
coming down. Absolutely. Oh my hey. god. Both hit, uh, one a crit. Yeah, I'd like, I'd like him to make a strength okay. save. Or actually, no, no, no. I'm not going to use it. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. All right, um, roll the damage. Ooh, not bad. 25 on the first. All right, good chunk. Oh, nice. Okay. And 13 on the second. So it's 38 total. 38 total. Fuck yeah, that's really yeah, good. On that big crit, like just as he says what happened to you, the hammer just comes up in uppercut right on his chin. Okay. All right. At the end of your turn, uh, Radimus is um, going... Sorry? Uh, oh, sorry. Your uh, turn hasn't ended yet. My apologies. Oh, uh, you're fine. Um, and then we're going to... Okay. We're going to kind of adjust. So we're going to go through here and right here. Mm -hmm. And uh, that'll be my turn. And then Wound is going to make his attacks. Okay. Yeah. Go, Wound. Uh, just the 10 hits for 5 damage. Oh, five. 5 damage. Yep. And that's Wound's turn. Okay. Oops, sorry, I clicked that by accident. I was trying to. <laughs> that oh, it just obliterates him. Uh, <laughs> As just said, the whole, oh, the whole beer is archived. As said, no, you. All right. At the end of Oberon's turn, Radimus will make a. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, no, I shouldn't have said. I got my one. Other feet of unwavering mark because I could use my bonus action to attack him for a lot of damage, but oh well. Too oh well. Uh, is going to make a, a disadvantaged pseudopod attack against uh, Edgar. No more d6. Okay. Uh, on this one. Yep, yeah, because his turn has already passed. Mm -hmm. 13? Mm -hmm. Nope. Okay. Uh, yeah. Edgar's Yo, turn. Yo, I got you, baby. All right. uh, oh, so do I have advantage because of one? Because one had advantage, right? Or is that just because one was big? I think that's just because or... one's big. You you would have to re reposition yourself to get flanking. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, uh... And you will have to use a bonus action to continue concentrating Got on it. your prayer. Yep. Not a problem. Um, can I share space with an ally and then move out of it after my attacks? You can't make an attack while in an ally space. Okay. All right. I'm going to just run around then. Uh, fuck. Where can I go? If you go here, here, you'll get advantage because of Tauros. Here? I'm oh, sorry. No, uh, here. Gotcha. Yeah. You can draw a straight line. Yep. And you don't exit his threatened area, so yep. you don't uh, uh, right. get hit with an opportunity attack. First attack with Firebrand. Twenty seven hits. Oh, close to a crit too. For seventeen. Fuck yes. Okay. Second attack with firebrand. Twenty six. Twenty six hits. Nice. For twenty. Mm. Okay. And then bonus action. As this is all happening, Edgar is just disassociating in a way where the Asori form is physically attacking. But him, him in himself, inside of the body, is just thinking of everything that he can and gets drawn to thinking about the tree and the story his mom told mm -hmm. him as he continues to prayer. Sorry, give me a religion check. Okay. Um, that one. Uh, seven. All right. Uh, moving on. Tauros. Sorry, not Tauros. At the end of your turn, <laughs> uh, Radimus is going to make a, another pseudopod attack against uh, Edgar. At disadvantage. At disadvantage. He is not a fan of your prayers. 17? Nope. Okay. Yeah. How long does Unwavering Mark last? Trey? It lasts as long as I'm within five feet of him. Does it? Yeah. So, on my... So. No. Um, yeah. When you hit until your... the end of your next turn. Oh. Okay. Say. Okay. All right. So, so that, that so, twenty-one so does no, hit then. 
for the 21 No, uh, it still has a disadvantage on me because I am displacing. And oh. I haven't been hit. That yeah. should, never mind then. Uh, Wait, I shouldn't the 22 have hit then? No, because uh, of the uh, my bloated thing was still on. And it would have still been disadvantaged. No, that was that um, twenty two there was a was a legendary turn. action. End of my turn. It was a no. It was still action. a disadvantage because of displacing. Oh. oh, but so I'm still oh, oh right, 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 right. My bad, my bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Cool. Yeah. So, uh, end of that turn. On to Tauros. All right. Bonus action. We're gonna hit that chug jug. All right. Delete another healing potion. Normal healing potions are what? 2d4 plus 2. Oh, man. All right. That's not great, but that's healing nonetheless. It's so close to dying. It is. What do you think? Allegedly. What what are what are these again, Jack? What are these? Oh, I can't select. What are the big gray? They're just pillars, stone pillars. Okay. Pick one up and throw it. <laughs> Do it. I mean, they're in bad shape, but uh... cave in part of the yo. That would be kind of fucking. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. If you want to pick it up, you can make an athletic check to try to grab this pillar. I I almost said pull an arc, but I don't think Zach was here for that. <laughs> that was before he even played with us. Yeah, yeah. Shit with the fucking grandfather uh, clock into this giant thing. Now. We're just gonna try to hit him with the sword. Okay. We're going for the, the sword, sword attack. Of my vengeance. Oh, oh duality of man! Hey! We're gonna Thank drop my smite. last smite. We're gonna smite. use my uh, last uh, smite. smite. It's only a level one. Guess what? That's still four d four four d eight. So, uh, oh. roll the damage. Ooh. 22, Ooh. 21. Ooh. Wait, Man. one of those is a and, 2. You can re-roll the 2. Yeah. So, so That's another d6. Come on, come on. There we go. That was a shit oh. roll. But you get to re-roll. Okay, but re-d6. Four and, yes. four and, and 7 damage for the and fire. 20, so what's the total? 25 plus 13 is 38. A 30, 45. 45, yeah. He is down to one hit point. Oh, oh my god. god. Do you know what? Dude. I still got a second attack. I still got a second attack. Hi. Hi. Second attack. Shit. Ah, 19, wait, 19, 19 hit. 19, 19, 19, 19 would hit. <laughs> If it wasn't for a pair. No. <laughs> you bitch. Why pull this out now? <laughs> because because he, because we've been either rolling way above it or way like he hasn't really had the opportunity. He hasn't been able to parry it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's fair. I just looked towards like you get this hero moment. Nope. <laughs> I, I mean, I'll take that as a hero moment. Oh yeah, no, that's absolutely mm -hmm. a great moment. Just the five, they get the final swing and just nah. At the end of Tauros's turn. Due to his destabilized form, he gets an additional legendary action. Mm -hmm. He is going to make a pseudopod attack against Tauros. No Good longer way. with disadvantage. And no longer with Blood Curse of the Eyeless. So just a straight roll. Uh, I believe a 20 does uh, hit. Oh, yeah. I'm going gonna, gonna to use my last blood curse because I get two, and I'm going to try. What's your AC, Zach? Uh, 17. Do you, do you uh, get your blood four. curse back on a short rest? Short rest, yep. Yeah. Oh, wow. You need a four. Six. Hey! Okay. Oh. You just... Give me, a, give me a strength save anyways, just to see if you would have yeah, been yeah. grappled. Strength save. Ah, uh, that's a twenty. Okay. T. Did somebody say magic missile? What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna lie. I'm thinking of it, but um, I'm actually gonna do. Let me just make sure I can read. 
yes, this is one. Uh, I was thinking about doing something ridiculously OP, but I'm just going to do a firebolt. War God's last strike. <laughs> and now, because that didn't work, I'm going to use one of my sorcery points, quick and spell. Fuck you, magic missile. There we go. <laughs> 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 I was about to get mad. <laughs> I don't I even know get, you. Who am I? was about to get magic missile. All right. You attempt to fire bolt, it just pin, pings off his armor. Instead, you hit him with a magic missile. Just one dart is all it takes. <laughs> but you do all three. Uh, I do. And it just crashes into what you think was his head. Uh, and then he shudders and then falls silent as his body collapses to the ground uh, and begins to just fully dissolve. I like to imagine the first bolt kills him. He falls over and then just it, it takes a couple seconds, but then the second bolt. <laughs> mm -hmm. second, oh, yeah. The other two just hit him like a couple seconds after. You all have successfully destroyed Radimus Altered. Oh, oh God. God, that was so oh, fuck. Healing potions, anyone? Is everyone... Is, are you all okay? I'm gonna... Uh, sorry, Edgar's gonna go to Oberon and just say, we're gonna need to bury him. Yeah. Um, is there... You, it, like, you said the skin was falling off. Is he, like, completely separated from his horse now? Like, his upper and lower halves? Yes. Uh, so he is completely separated from his horse. He's still, like, this sort of amorphous blob of a thing. Like, to give him a yeah. burial, you're going to have to collect him together. I, uh... I was... Can I look at any of his belongings that he has? See if there's anything of note on him? The only thing that was on him were the is the armor that was fused into him and the lance that was fused into him is it like fused like into his hand like physically fused into like it? there is no hand the lance is oh okay to his arm. Gotcha. That's, the the, the, the mini the, the mini looks like that I because i can't, can't do yeah, that yeah, yeah. in hero um Flash. i'm just gonna like uh, with a uh, lightning break just gonna go where the lance is and just like separate it yeah like and just once I separate, just I don't know if we can bring back everything, but at least something. Uh, I'm going to walk up to Tauros. I'm going to take the ointment out and I'm going to run a bit over, like, kind of like. Just start rubbing lotion on Tauros. I, 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 will <laughs> I gave ask him Tauros. a regular healing potion. I'll ask Tauros if he's okay with me okay. doing this or if he wants to do it. You consent so. to lotion. He just kind of looks over in his demon form and like, you know, he usually just kind of like puffs of smoke and fire come out of his mouth as he looks over and a little bit of blood kind of coughs out and he just kind of yeah. gives you a nod. Right. So 2d8 so plus 2. two. Alright, well in the aftermath of this battle, Ooh. I think this is where we end it for this episode of Dice Age. Hey! Ooh.